Episode Story Number 3 Niffle and the Stubborn Dream In Niffle's cosy underground cavern, filled with glowing glass bottles, Niffle, the tiny dreamkeeper, is bustling about, carefully tending to the dreams. He hums a soft tune, his large eyes twinkling with mischief. <laughs> oh, what a lovely collection of dreams tonight! Let's see, let's see. Oh, this one's particularly sparkly. Niffle picks up a bottle with a dazzling golden glow and peers inside, his eyes widening in surprise. Oh, oh my, a dream of finding buried treasure. This one belongs to Captain Roderick. Such a stubborn old sailor. <laughs> you will need this one back for sure. Niffle hops onto a stool to reach the top shelf carefully placing the bottle amongst others. Da, 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 safe and sound, safe and sound. No escaping now, little dream. Suddenly, a faint, persistent, buzzling sound fills the air. Niffle's ears twitch and he looks around in confusion. <laughs> What's that noise? A stubborn dream is trying to escape? Niffle darts around the room, following the buzzing sound. He spots a rattling on the shelf, its glow pulsating erratically. Oh, you tricky little dream. Captain Roderick's determination must be rubbing off on you. <laughs> I bet Niffle's got you now. He carefully picks up the bottle, but as soon as he touches it, the dream bursts out in a swirl of golden mist, zooming around the cavern. Oh, come back here, you rascal! Niffle chases the dream around the cavern, his tiny feet pattering softly on the ground. The dream weaves and dodges, but Niffle's persistence pays off with a swift move. He grabs the mist and stuffs it back into the bottle, securing the cork tightly. Oh, 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 no, 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 my running away. Captain Roderick will be getting his treasure hunt dream safe and sound. Just as he's about to relax, a soft, charming sound echoes through the cavern. Niffle's eyes widen in excitement. Oh. Someone's going for that dream. Who could it be this time? Niffle checks his dream diary of records, flipping through the pages quickly. Ah, oh, Mrs. Marlow. She wants to remember her dream of dancing at a grand ball. How lovely. Niffle quickly and excitedly locates her bottle. It's spotted with a soft pink glow. He grabs it and closes his eyes in concentration. In a flash, he teleports to Mrs. Marlow's bedside. But she's just waking up. The first rays of morning, light, filter through the curtains. Niffle tiptoes to her side, making sure to stay out of sight. He uncorks the bottle, letting the dream flow gently into her mind. <sighs> Mrs. Marlowe's face lights up with joy, and then she goes back straight to sleep. <sighs> oh, sweet dreams, Mrs. Marlowe. Dance the night away. He quickly teleports back to his cavern, landing with a soft thud. He then places the empty bottle onto the shelf, sighing with relief. Ah, oh, another dream safely delivered. Being a dreamkeeper is hard work, but I was so much fun. Niffle resumes his work, humming a whimsical tune. The cavern flows softly with the light of countless dreams, each one a precious memory stored safely by the quirky, shy and mischievous Niffle. He moves swiftly and silently, always keeping an eye out to ensure he isn't seen. Do 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 do